So your musical by the book, when did you start casting for it? Well, I, w I was writing it in May, started writing in May, uh, when we came back in September, to like end of September, beginning of October. Um, it was mid-October by the time I actually decided to start casting. I'd completely developed the script by then, so it was a case of... Um, once the script had been developed and I knew where the characters stood and, you know, what they were all about, um, then it was fine to start casting. So mid-October was about the time. Right. So how did you go about um, advertising the auditions? Did you just put up posters? To advertise the auditions, I had two different posters with the same theme, basically saying auditions for buy the book. Um, I made it interesting by having two different posters, you know, it always catches somebody's eye to have various different things on the same theme. Um, and also I did a Facebook event and invited as many people as I knew were at the university to come and audition. Right, so what made you decide on the cast members you've got now, what made them stand out? Um, well, there were quite a few things really. There was. Um, their own personalities. Um, I did a few exercises during the auditions um, to see what kind of books they read. You know, we um, when I went round the room and asked everybody what sort of books, what the last book they read was. Um, did a few other things with them as well, and, and to find out whether they'd actually got a sense of humour, um, whether they could actually hold. Um, Oh, I'm trying to think how I can put this. Um, I did an exercise with them to see how they could cope with not laughing with something in a funny situation. So we did a few exercises like that to see how well they could do, they could perform without cracking. Um, I wanted to hear whether they could sing, you know, um, a bit of a bit of acting, um, and then it was a case of seeing who looked right with who and in what situation. So, there was one particular character who is a female impersonator, um, very much like a Hinge and Bracket style, Dame Edna style character, uh, who needed to be quite a strong actor. Didn't necessarily have to sing, um, but could act. But he also happens to be a good singer as well. So. Um, during the rehearsal process, were there any difficulties or anything that stood out? The main difficulty, and I think every director who um, has problems, well, every director suffers this, and that's that um, attendance can always be a hard thing, especially at a university like this, because there's so many people who say yes, um, and they say yes to everything, with the good intention of being able to do everything, but then realise they can't do everything, um, and their time's very limited, and time moves so fast that uh, people always find themselves getting double booked, and being more in demand than they realise, and so when it comes to rehearsals, if there's been the odd person missing, it makes it very hard, not just for the director, but for the rest of the cast, to know exactly what's going on. So um, that's been the biggest, biggest problem. But um, on the upside, um, uh, oh, hang on, I'm trying to think. Yeah, there is an upside. <laughs> um, <coughs> on the upside, I've had some very, very talented cast members like in, in big roles, in small roles, you know, everybody's been able to collaborate and bring something exciting and new, stuff that I, as a director, um, have had in my mind. They've been actually adding to that, you know, so they've actually made, built a much bigger production <clears throat> than I originally intended.